Hey, hey, welcome in my math party, people. Anderson here, your math coach, and here we go. We're gonna go and get started here with this problem, and before we get into anything at all, as always, what do you want, what do you have, what's the connection? Those are the three steps to word problem success. So let's go ahead and stay true to that strategy. That way, we can understand what we know, what we don't know, and how we can possibly figure this problem out. Here we go. So, first and foremost, again, what do you want means what is the question? So the question is right here. How many total contestants were present at the beginning of the game show? So right over here, number one, what do we want? We want total contestants in the beginning. Again, when it comes to understanding what the question is asking you to figure out, it's really all related to the story. Yeah, sometimes it'll give you some hints for what math you might do, but every single time, it's going to be related to the story. What is the objective in here? Apparently, there's a game show. Apparently, we're trying to figure out how many people there were in the beginning. And that's it. Again, do you have to understand math to imagine a game show, imagine some people there at the beginning? And if they're being very specific about the beginning, don't you think that something happens that might give us a clue toward what to do, right? But I think at the very least, we can imagine, hey, a game show, it starts, it ends, trying to figure out how many people started. Okay, now let's go ahead then, after you figure out what you want, okay, the game show contestants in the beginning, let's understand what information we have. Any information at all that's related to what we want, the contestants at the beginning. So, number two, step two, what we have here, well, let's go ahead and check it out here. So before a game show began, the ratio of male to female contestants was five to four. Okay, so before it began, so in the beginning, is that fair to say? In the beginning, the ratio of male to female contestants, five to four. So let's just go ahead and write that out again, because again, before it began, in the beginning, there's some timeline here, right? I haven't even gone through all the information, but I think we can all agree there's something happening in terms of start, middle, and end, or something. As always, my Mazvat party people, thank you for watching this video. Before we continue, just wanted to remind you that if you're struggling with the ASVAB, if you struggle with test anxiety, blanking out on problems, then you need to consider the ASVAB All Access program. Thousands of my students have tried it out, and they have always raised their scores if they use it the right way. Because there's always a way to learn for whatever method you like best. From recorded lessons, to live classes, to guided practice videos, to printable worksheets, to speed drills to help you test and raise your confidence and speed, to casual practice that comes with video solutions. Every single way that you can think of, over 10,000 questions, all of it lined up for you, ready for you to get started right now. So at the very least, check out the link in the description so you can see exactly how it works and why again, over a thousand of my students have raised their scores with it all the way through. I'm proud of you, let's keep working hard and let's get back to the video. But don't forget, check out that program. I think you'll like it. So here, what do we have? I'm gonna say in the beginning, we're gonna say that the ratio was again, five to four. So I'll go ahead and highlight that right there, five to four. So we'll say male to female, the ratio that we're given was five to four. Okay, cool. Now it said also, hey, coming up here at the halfway checkpoint of the show, 21 male contestants lost, making the new ratio one to two. Okay, so there, there, there's the beginning, and then we see that something happens. 21 males drop out. Okay, and then now, or in the end, however way you wanna say it, now what we have is a ratio of one to two. Now, again, the ratio male to female is one to two. Okay, and that's all the information we have. So, this question might seem a little odd, a little difficult, a little challenging, and that's because it's supposed to be. If you have a solid, and I mean solid, understanding of how ratios and proportions work, this problem is actually very straightforward, but you just have to make sure you understand the clues here. Here's what I mean. So, first of all, let's review what we want again. We just want the total number of people in the beginning. 
Okay. And then what you notice is this, my party people. You're given the ratio of male to female. And we're looking for total. So if we want total here, is it fair to say that to get total, you add the number of males and females? Yeah, right? Okay, cool. So in the beginning, we have males to females, five to four, but what's the total number? The total number of pieces. Because again, five parts male to four parts female. So I hope to God it's okay to say that, hey, the total will be nine. The total pieces here, again, pieces. I'm not talking about the total people. I'm just saying pieces. That's all I'm saying. Because moving forward, here's why that piece of information right there is so important. The total number is nine in terms of the total number of pieces. Here's why it's important. If we can figure out what the value of one piece is or one part is, we multiply it by nine and we get the total number of people. Boom. So let's go ahead and see how we can work this out. Well, here's another big clue that's gonna help you get this problem done very, very quickly. Check this out. Notice how the 21 males dropped out and now the new ratio is one to two. Let me ask you this question. And again, pause the video, rewind as many times as you need to, because I really think this is gonna make a lot of sense once you see what I'm going with. Males dropped out, right? 21 males dropped out. Did any females drop out? No, not at all. No females dropped out at all. And what that means is, well, we still have the same number of females. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm gonna represent this ratio with the same number of parts of females. Why? Because again, if I can go ahead and have males to females five to four, males drop out but no females drop out, that means I can represent females in the same way. If I can do that, then I can figure out how many males are represented by one part or how many people are one part and I can solve the problem. Again, let me show you nice and slow here. Everybody, check this out. If you want to go ahead and modify a ratio or a fraction, what's the main rule? Whatever you do to one thing, you do to the other, right? Compare the same things in the same way. So what might make this a challenge problem is that you might not notice that if you multiply each of these sides of this ratio by two, hey, look at this, you get two to four. And remember, this is females, four right there. Females, four pieces, four parts right there. And look at the difference now from the males. Look at this. Look at this. This, this, is, be, this is be really, really eye-opening. You have five males, then 21 drop out. Now you have two parts males. The reason I can say that confidently is because the females are represented the same way. The females are still four. So you can basically assume that, hey, the drop from five to two that's three parts that you lost. You lost three parts. So right here, right here, this translates, this right here translates to you lost three parts for males. And basically, this basically solves the problem because if you had 21 males drop out and that's the same as losing three parts males, what does each part represent? Well, that means that if you have 21 males over three parts, that just means that you have seven males or seven people per part. You have seven people per part. Why does that help? We're done already actually because of this. And just like this free YouTube video right here my Math 40 people, I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake and a free math class every week, once a week for two hours. Click the link over here to sign up and get started and keep raising that score. Let's get back to the action. Remember, in the beginning, in the beginning, we have nine total parts or pieces in terms of that ratio of the five to four, five males to four females, that, those pieces, that became nine parts. And if we know now that each part represents seven people, well, we're done with math party people because nine times seven is 63 contestants in the beginning. And we are good. The answer is C and we're all good. So this is the main way to do this question. Again, I took a long time to really explain from start to finish 
because again, it's a challenge problem. I wanna make sure you get the ideas that I'm setting forth. But there is another way to do this and that's with a system of equations, which again, if you're not privy to that, if you're not totally quite there, which is a very complicated topic comparatively, then there's no reason for me to show it. If you can understand it this way, understanding ratios and proportions and totals, you're good. You have to understand totals to understand this problem. So let me review this one more time. What do we have here? In the beginning, five to four in terms of five parts males to four parts females. Since we're looking for the total number of contestants in the beginning, it should, it should be a good idea to know how many total parts there are because you're looking for the total people. So in the beginning, five to four, that's nine total parts. The idea was, if you can figure out how many people are represented by just one part, multiply that by nine, and you get the total number of people in the beginning. So, the way we were able to figure out how many people were represented by one part was because we saw 21 males dropped out. So we needed to figure out, well, how many parts is that? How many parts is that? How many pieces did we lose? And so, when we looked at the new ratio after the fact, we saw it was one to two, but we can easily write another ratio by multiplying both of these by two, because again, whatever you do to one, you do to the other, compare the same things in the same way, so that's two to four. The reason that makes sense is because again, we didn't lose any females. Notice there are four females here, four females here. So with that said, you take a note here and look at what happened to males. We go from five to two. So that means we lost five or three parts males. Three parts males, we lost that. And since that's the same, again, the problem said it, that's the same as losing 21 males, and we have three parts of males lost, 21 divided by three, how many is each part? Boom, seven people. Seven people is represented by one part, and like we said earlier, we'll multiply that by nine, nine total pieces. If one part is seven, nine parts, nine times three, or nine times seven, excuse me, that's 63 total people, or total contestants. And there we are. So my math party people, I really do hope this makes sense. It is a challenge problem for a reason, because you do have to think a little bit outside the box with this one. But again, I'm Coach Anderson. You know how to reach me if you have any questions about this, and I really look forward to hearing from you and seeing how you're doing. Let's go ahead and move forward the right way. Let's keep raising that score and have a good time. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you wanna raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.